Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I got something to show you, and that is some ColecoVision games. Now I just got this in the mail today, and I'm kind of excited because there's a lot of good stuff in here. Now what happened was um, I wanted to, you know, play around with this controller, which is the Super Action Controller uh, for the ColecoVision. And you know, I bought this a, a little while ago, and uh, the game I really wanted to play on it was Rocky. Now, I was going through my ColecoVision cartridges, and I realized I didn't have Rocky. I don't know why I thought I had it, but apparently I don't have it. And so, obviously, I had to hit eBay and see if I could find a Rocky cart. Now, usually when I'm looking for a cartridge, sometimes what I'll do, uh, well, not sometimes, but often what I will do is look for the cart I want in a lot of other carts. You know, so somebody will sell it as a lot meaning they got like say 15 carts all together and you know Rocky's kind of a common one so I figured I'd probably find it amongst a bunch of other cartridges that maybe I could use or play or whatever and so I saw this bid for up for bid and there was a lot of good stuff in there plus Rocky was the one I wanted and so I took a chance um, I started to bid and I, I kept the bidding low uh, to, you know, to see how, to, you know, test the waters. And of course, I kept getting outbid, outbid, outbid. So then I'm like, okay, I, I kind of assessed it. And I said, okay, well, how much am I willing to pay realistically for this? Because keep in mind, you also got to tack on shipping. And, you know, I'm in Canada where everything's uber expensive anyways. And so I put in a high amount and I, I just kind of left it. And I, I was crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, going, I hope nobody, you know, snipe bids me at the last minute. And... I won so um, yeah so I was just gonna I just got this in the mail today so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you what I got because it'd be very uh, you know exciting to play some of these games that that um, you know just by chance I, I somehow won and of course Rocky which I want to get to in a future video because you know that's why I bought these to actually play a game I didn't own which was kind of funny you know that's that's kind of a, a an interesting thing amongst um, game collectors is um, you often get to a point where you can't remember every single game you have or not have. And you sometimes think you actually have a game, which you really don't. You know, uh, when I when I was looking at my Nintendo stuff, for, for whatever reason, I was always convinced that I had Marble Madness. And yet, I didn't have it. <laughs> Funny enough. So, just never know. Oh yes, and as a bonus... I got some uh, manuals in there too. I mean, it's always cool to get the manuals. Uh, they're not, uh, they're, they're okay. They look like they have a little bit of uh, wear and tear. I think I see a, uh, oh, an insert. Nice. I don't have, well, I didn't have any of these inserts before. Uh, I got the ones that came with the uh, ColecoVision flashback, which I have up in there. Uh, but this is kind of neat. This is Space Panic. I, I don't think I have this one, or had this one, I should say. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, we got Venture in there. I love Venture. Venture is a fun game. My favorite game, Donkey Kong. And this is actually not bad. I mean, the condition of this manual is not too bad. It's a little bit of uh, scuff on the side. Super Action Baseball. Um, I believe that uses the uh, controller that I was just showing you. I think anything that was called Super Action, it used the uh, that controller. And this was an odd one. I didn't even know this existed. Smurf Paint and Play Workshop. I didn't know about this. So I was really curious about it. When I saw the cartridge in the picture, I was like, that looks cool. Like I played, I like the Smurf game, the original Smurf game, which was uh, Rescue at Gargamel's Castle. Uh, so I'm very curious to check it out. Hope, hopefully these all work. Of course, you know, when you buy these things on eBay, Oftentimes they tell you they're not tested. Uh, this guy said he didn't even have a ColecoVision anymore to test them. So that's all them. So let's let's go through the list. Uh, there's a bunch of duplicates in here, so uh, let's get this packed in there pretty tight. So there, there's the Space Panic. Uh, now that I got the manual with it, so I can actually check it out. Venture. If this works, it's going right off to Mr. Toon, because I, I believe he said he wanted this one. Uh, so it's an extra for me, so I'll send it off to Mr. Toon. Uh, Space Fury. That's cool. 
Now this is another one I was interested in because I had this on the, the Atari thanks to the Noseware Gamer and uh, I played this on the, uh, in the not on the Intellivision, I don't have the Intellivision Congo Bongo, I played the uh, arcade version of it too um, so yeah, an, another title I was not really sure actually was on this, the uh, ColecoVision so really excited to see that in there I think it's kind of a rare one too, it's not, not really, uh, you know Donkey Kong, well anybody, anybody that has a ColecoVision probably has Donkey Kong so there's probably a few Donkey Kongs in here uh, Ladybug, I think I have this one already. It's kind of dirty, but whatever. You know, backup pair. <laughs> Pepper 2, I believe I also have that one. You know, you, you get a lot of duplicates when you do this. It's another one I was interested in. Pitfall 2. I don't think I have Pitfall 1, though, for the Coleco. I'm not sure. But yeah, Pitfall 2. That's that's cool. I mean, that's that's a rare game on its own. Uh, this one's War Room. I might have this one. I don't know. I don't recognize the label, but maybe I have one with an, a different label. Could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Looks interesting. Looping. I believe this one you need the rollerball for, and, and I actually do have that, so... Uh, I guess that's an extra copy. The Smurf Game, which is cool. That's the one I like. That's the one I was familiar with. Rescue at Gargamel's Castle. And... Oh, another Donkey Kong. Could always use Donkey Kongs. Plenty of Kong to go around. Uh, another one I don't think I had was Omega Race. Or Omega Race. However you want to pronounce that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't really played uh, Omega Race on any of my systems yet. On At least on this channel. So this will be a cool one. I don't know, the, the cart looks like it's in bad shape though. It's kind of, uh, you can see right there, it looks like it's splitting open. The plastic might be warped, but you never know. Maybe I can glue it or something, or <laughs> somehow snap it back into place. Sometimes also, uh, you might have to just take the whole cartridge apart and just take the board out and just shove the board into the, into the system. I don't know. I'll see what happens there. Super Action Baseball. <laughs> There's... I had the uh, the manual there, so time pilot. Um, I, I might have that one. I don't know. Already, another super action baseball. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Toon also wanted one of these too. I don't know. I'll have to ask him again what he wanted. Um, more Donkey Kong. Like I said, you'll get a bunch of duplicates. Um, Donkey Kong again. Lots of Donkey Kongs. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is Zaxxon, because the label fell off. I think in the description he said it was a unmarked game without a label. Maybe he found the label, because um, it's, it's detached. Now this is the one I was really curious about. It's kind of dirty, but I can clean that all up. That's the Smurf Paint and Play Workshop. That'll be really interesting to try. Another game that I tried to get my hands on before, but it was kind of expensive, was Heist. I remember trying to find this on its own, and I think the amount that this one cost on its own was how much I paid for most, like, almost how much I paid for this whole thing. So this was kind of a bonus for me. Uh, the game is not the best game in the world, but it's kind of fun. It's interesting. Another Super Action, Super Action Football. I'm not really a football fan myself, but I'll give it a shot. Always like to see how the graphics look on these games. And we got a victory. Baseball. Another venture. And last but not least, the game that I really wanted. And this better work because I'll be really upset if I bought all this stuff. And, well, I won't be upset. If, as long as most of this stuff works. Rocky. Super Action Boxing. Um, and I believe this one... It's kind of like, uh, it takes place around the Rocky 3 time, because it's Rocky versus Clubber Lang, if I'm not mistaken. I remember playing this when I was a kid. I remember my friend had it, and uh, we used to play it on his Coleco Atom, so, um, and I, but we didn't have the Super Action controllers, so we, we probably played it wrong, because you need, um, this thing's got all these different fire buttons. I don't know if I can show it. You see the, the different colored buttons, right? So uh, each of those buttons has a different action on there. 
So if I have played this in the past, it was I, we played it wrong. But yeah, so that's it. That's uh, that's pretty. Fu um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna check out what Mr. Toon wants because I know he said he wanted a few of these ones that are duplicates for me. I got a bunch of baseballs and all that other stuff and Donkey Kongs. I don't know what I'll do with them. Backup pairs, whatever. Maybe if, if I bump into somebody that needs one, they can have it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. These are just some ColecoVision carts that I'm just happy to obtain and uh, lots of videos to make. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.